Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to start because you guys didn't direct the original, correct? We did not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how did you end up getting involved in the sequel? So we this is our first feature film. This is our directorial debut. Yeah. Um, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very exciting. Um, we, we've been making like YouTube shorts for like literally like 10 years, short films and stuff. We've got a, a reasonably popular YouTube channel. We make short films and stuff. Um, this guy's a stunt man also, so he'd obviously been working in the, the stunt industry and uh, working on some bigger stuff. And we had made a proof of concept for a film that we'd written, like an action film that we really wanted to make. Uh, George had worked with Scott on Doctor Strange uh, uh, yeah, as, so a, as a stunt performer. And we were basically, we wanted to try and get Scott in our movie because we were like, if we get Scott, we'll, we'll be able to kind of get the budget and go make our movie. So we showed him our proof of concept and he, he loved it. Uh, very short version is that then when he read the script, he was like, oh, I don't want to play the character you want me to play. So we were like, that's <laughs> not a problem. Uh, he was like, hope I get to work with you guys in the future. And then two weeks later, we get a call from Scott saying, actually, why don't you come and direct uh, Accident Man 2 or Hitman's Holiday? So uh, he he really did give us our break here. So it's very, uh, yeah. very kind of him. We're very appreciative for that. Um, that then went off to like Sony and the guys and Samuel Goldwyn. They checked out some of our stuff and they gave us the go ahead. And so, yeah, that's how we got on the film. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. That's amazing. It is cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, a, it's a great opportunity. So very excited. Well, um, since you since you didn't direct the first movie, were there any challenges kind of that came along with, you know, jumping right into this sequel, um, like, you know, kind of keeping along with the flow of the films? Yeah, I mean, so... Well, George, take well. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, obviously, um, Axel Man is a, quite a, a passion project of Scott's. You know, he's, he's from, born from the... He read the comics when he was younger, and that's how he did the first film. And he was, you know, very much wanting to keep... Uh, so a lot of the stuff from the first film coming forward into the second film uh, in terms of like, you know, the, the characters and the, the tone and all that sort of stuff. So, um, that's something we definitely, you know, tried to bring us, but what we wanted to do was, um, and what Scott said he wanted to do as well, was kind of lift the tone a little bit, you know, make, make it a bit, more, a bit lighter, a bit more fun. Um, more of a comedy. More of a com yeah, add a bit more comedy to it. Um, uh, you know, because the first one's very, very dark, dark British humour, you know, it's almost black comedy. Um, so this one just wanted to make it a bit more, bit more light-hearted, have a bit more fun with the characters, you know, but sort of push them a bit further than beyond out of there. Uh, the characters from the first film, you know, push them a bit further in terms of their their story and their especially Fallon. Yeah, Fallon. Yeah, make him a bit more of a uh, well-rounded, well-rounded person that that you could that you could be friends with, you know, even though he's a <laughs> a killer, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's assassin. the thing with these films is that if you stop and think about any of the characters, they're all terrible people who murder people for a living. So trying to make those characters like, you know, likable and you want know, to know. identify with them, and, you yeah. know, in some way, you know, so that's definitely, I think it was definitely trying to humanize them a bit more uh, in this one and give them, and, and just have some fun with them really. That was a, and not to say that it doesn't keep a lot of the dark humor from the first one, you know, some of the uh, accident kills and stuff are all, you know, quite dark and stuff, but again, kind of try to make them fun and a bit over the top. So yeah, hopefully people, people will see that. Yeah, that actually touches on something that I wanted to ask you because there's a line in the second film and he says, uh, he's like, I'm not a babysitter, I'm a killer. And so yeah. I mean, was it fun to kind of put him in this new role that he obviously isn't really suited for? <laughs> yeah, that was that was really fun. Like um, kind of in the first half film, he's kind of like paired up with, uh, with Fred who returns from the first film. And then in the second half of the film, when he's trying to save Fred, he's paired up with Dante, played by George, uh, different George. Uh, and um, yeah, that was so much fun because George Foray, because he's like a he's a British comedian, he does like stand up and stuff, and so just getting them two to kind of like argue and banter back and forth, and George just to kind of make him angry and wind him up, kind of thing, was a uh, really good fun. Yeah. Uh, George did a lot of improv, so we're just like hurling insults at Scott and stuff and making us all laugh on set. Um, so yeah, that was a really fun that was a really fun side of things to do, just to have uh, Fallon put in a situation where he's just with someone he cannot stand, but he's got to protect this person. To save you know save his friend kind of thing so yeah that was a yeah a fun situation to play with yeah um and yeah we got some we got some funny lines out that's some good insults against the against the band, so yeah <laughs> i i think their banter was my favorite part of the film like i think i cool. think that dynamic was my was my favorite yeah. um but um yeah there is also like you mentioned a little bit of this element of like it's kind of a dark comedy because i mean 
is this is the stuff really funny no but is it funny yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you like, know is that is that a genre that you guys are fond of like do you like dark comedy or is this kind of a first for you uh I suppose we've played a little bit with comedy but mm. definitely in terms of a project this big yeah it was kind of a first for us but and it's a fine line like you say you don't want it uh you can't let people stop and think too much about what's actually happening because uh, they'll be like, uh, why am I following this uh, terrible person? But uh, at the same time, like that is that is their character. Fallon is that character. He, he's a killer, you know. Um, but we've tried to give him something in this film to for people to latch onto. Like he's got some something he cares about and someone he cares about kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, no, it, uh, it's, it's definitely a fine line, you know, riding that line between extreme violence and comedy. You know, yeah. it's like... Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, within the context of the film, like we say, because you don't, we don't, whenever we stop kind of evaluate that too much, you know, it, the film keeps moving and keeps moving. You kind of, yeah. like you say, you laugh at the kind of the ridiculousness of it, really. Um, and and that, I think that keeps it in the comedy zone. And, you know. Plus, like Perry, Perry, who plays Fred, is just the most yeah. likable man. And he's just like this friendly, you know, kind of like almost like a man child kind of thing. So it's like hard to dislike him. And then George, even though you're supposed to be like annoyed by him, he's you know, so funny that you don't mind kind of thing. So yeah, it's a good good balance. Yeah, and uh, well, Scott Atkins is a real gymnast and a martial artist. Yes. I actually didn't know before I watched the film that I was like, they have some really impressive camera work or he's doing this himself. I was like, that is, that's amazing. So, you know, what was that like? Was it, you know, fun to be able to work with someone who could kind of do all this on their own? Like, did it help extend those action scenes, give you more opportunities? Um, yeah massively absolutely yeah. yeah like i mean ha having people that can do it in camera where you don't don't have to hide you don't have to hire doubles you don't have to um you know you don't have to compromise on your shots and stuff to to make the action work you know that they're going to give you what you want you know and can do it take after take after take and uh, not that we did loads of takes but we didn't have time but you know we you know the takes that we got you know scott it, you know he's absolutely professional with his stuff you know he's done loads of these films and he he does it all himself yeah, yeah he does it all himself he you know he he knows his craft um and he, he, you know and even with the camera work and stuff um like i spent a lot of time on the camera as well um and working with our dop rich bell and uh camera operator joe ransom so was on like the movie cam and scott would always know you know where to where to put his foot for the kicks and stuff to make sure they worked and stuff like that so he didn't, he didn't have to teach them that stuff or you know, alter our camera position to, to find it. He, he knew where to put, you know, put everything, which made everything so much easier, smoother. That's like same goes for pretty much all of our uh, assassin characters, mm. um, all amazing fighters. Andy Long, who is playing a Yumi, the, the ninja, at the end of the film, like in watching him, yeah. his his fighting work. So, so when it was him and Scott, you know, as much as we were supposed to be director, like geeking out, just watching them to have cool martial art fights and stuff. And, you know, it's really, yeah, it's really good fun just to see them to, you know, top of their game kind of thing, really going mm. for it. And then, yeah, same, same with all the guys. They put so much hard work. You know, we kind of, uh, we pre vis all the fights first. So we shoot all the fights like in a rough, in, in like a rehearsal space, uh, get all the fights worked out before we arrive on set. So that when we do arrive on set, we're just like ready to go and those guys can go for it. But um, yeah, it's um, amazing watching, it's so much fun watching people do stuff that you can't do yourself or watching you do cool, you know, kicks and <laughs> that's so cool. I mean it's cool just to watch it on screen. I can't imagine yeah. being there and seeing that. Um but yeah that's awesome. Well lastly I just wanted to ask if you guys know are there any plans to kind of keep these films going? Because it seems like there's a lot of storytelling potential there. Yeah so I know that I know that Scott absolutely you know he loves his property and would love to do love to do more. Uh, I suppose it's gonna come down to people going to check out the second one. So you know, people, if you if you like Scott and if you like Axel Man, uh, go check out the film. Um, and yeah, I think if there's, there's that support for it, then there would definitely be room for, room for a third one. Uh, we won't spoil too much. We've kind of left it at the end of the third one, second one, that there's room to to go to a third. Um, so yeah, I think there's definitely, if there's demand for it, I think it, I think we would, definitely one would come, yeah. Um, and the only the only thing is, is we it's really, really hard to think <laughs> of good accident kills like we spent so much time trying to come up with these accidents and you're like, it's really hard to think of one where it wouldn't be immediately obvious that it wasn't an accident or an accident or in that kind of thing. So who, the, the toughest challenge for the third film was to be keep thinking of good accidents. But other than <laughs> that, yeah, I think uh, it'd be good to go. Yeah. It's, it's so funny that you say that because I actually thought that myself. I was like, how do they keep coming up with these? There's so many different ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that would be a big challenge. But yeah, it's good. It's good. It's fun just to sit and try and think up crazy accidents. So yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Cool. Well, that was all I had for you guys. Thanks so much okay. for chatting with me. Thanks, no Rachel. Yeah, it was thanks. lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. It was lovely to meet you as well.